Wagwan people, wagwan people, is a boy, J O B A K J D. Looks, man, you met after your mom, man, yeah. Me as in a mikaka, bana. You last time I saw you, you were like a mufti. Hmm. Oh, 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 bongo la bulana. I'm doing for I think three years, four years. I met you, you progressed, you came, man, and it's amazing, and I'm proud of him. But since I'm not a cartoon, I'm Julia Hali. I'm doing this in a minute, bana. Ali, I'm so mad, bana. Mimi kwa salama? Acha mimi kupona na tume match mbaya. Yeah, na jo brand lazima. Bado switch. Liko nimejua. Eh. Was good to see you. Hata mimi. I mean it it's mm -hmm. tangu watu jana na tangu December hivi. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a minute but mimi kwa salama. I really thank God. Bado na sukuma vile uliniachaga nikisukuma. Yeah, yeah. So bro ni nataka niongelele story moja ju nimeona kuna depression mob ime affect sana wa youth eh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, specifically wasani uh, in general mm -hmm. na nimeona hata juzi tu kulikuwa na historia madox kulikuwa na umsipio wa sailors mm -hmm. imekuwa ni story noma sana yeah. of which was on a blame on a blame industry mm -hmm. na pia at the same time on a blame the government mm -hmm. so one on which is which bro okay for me i i, I personally think kwamba kuna kuna a few factors zenye people should actually know mm -hmm. ya kwanza it is the expectation ambayo watu wanaekewa the moment you become an artist unaimba ama umeingia tu kwenye sanaa there's a picture ambayo watu wanakuwa wamejiwekea kwa akili yao na wanatakaga sana you live up to up to that expectation so when an artist succumbs to that expectation ataanza kuishi maisha ambayo so yake ataanza kuendesha magari wakati hata kama ni ya you know kahaya ataanza ku, kutaka kuishi place fulani kwa sababu yeye ni msanii and at the end of the day unapata kwamba the moment eh uh, income yako inakatika au utaweza ku, ku, ku manage kuendelea kuishi your life that's the first factor mm -hmm. ya pili naweza nikaisi kwamba uh, kabla niongelee the industry now naisi kwamba ni peer pressure yeah. and unapata mtu ameingia kwenye industry the fame comes money inakuja and people try tend to think kwamba hii pesa itaendelea kukuja understand yeah. yes. so they blow up the money they go partying wanaenda vacations and stuff like that yeah. wanatumia pesa vibaya stream ikikatika like for example if you notice vizuri uliona kwamba covid ilipoingia ndo many artists walikuwa affected Kabisa. so unapata kwamba mm. uh, stream ya income ikikatika mm. wanakuwa very affected in, in such a way that hawaezi kuendelea mm. uh, ku live ile maisha ambayo walikuwa wanaendelea kuishi yeah. ya tatu we can also blame the industry because mm. let me tell you one thing an upcoming artist in nigeria anaweza kaendesha hata v comfortably yeah because the industry hata Tanzania hata Tanzania yeah, yeah. anaweza kaishi kwa a mansion ama kwa a mansion it comfortably because the industry allows mm -hmm. lakini unapata in Kenya promoter anakutafuta anakwambia anakupea 10k anakupea mm -hmm. 20k and because hauna hiyo pesa itabidi kubali you understand kabisa na umekubali hiyo 10000 umekubali hiyo 20000 but bado ukumbuka kwa sasa kuna hizi factors zingine zinakuja zinaanza ku affect. Unapata hiyo 20,000 ambayo hujakuwa ukiipata na kuna expectations watu wamekuwekea wanasema Ali anafaa aishi maisha fulani, Ali anafaa aendeshe gari fulani. Kwa hiyo unapata people end up being you know depressed. Yaani ukiongeza ukipiga hiyo factor, uweke ya industry ko industry ko vibaya, kuna peer pressure, kuna expectation, kuna wasanii kujiingiza kwenye drugs. I think hizo zote zikishikanishwa, you can never avoid Eh, this depression it you will always end up being depressed ah uh, na kuna history moja ya youtubers nyi kazi yenu mnafanya yeah eh uh, kama venyani ali by gari yake eve mungai yeah. sasa nimeona juu sasa hivi vistan boyas juu amepatiwa gari na kampuni fulani mm -hmm. uh, do you think ni jua, ilikuwa anapatiwa 100k mm -hmm. every month ama apatiwe gari kama in, in exchange mm -hmm. so unafikiria kama ni kiki ama hiyo ndio mtindo hata mimi nikiwa youtuber hata mimi nikiingia kwa industry yenu mm -hmm. is a matter of uh, lazima nikuwe na nifanye kitu nifanye kiki ndio mtu aone eh yenyewe nafanya nikuwe na gari nafanya nikuwe na hii nafanya nikuwe na nyumba unanipata mm -hmm. yeah it, it, it's a tegemea mwisho siku and how you're branding yourself like for me ukiangalia the way na put my stuff out there mm -hmm. I don't put my business out there unless ni biashara nataka ku support na platform yangu. Mm. I don't show off at Ali ana own nini, Ali anafanya nini. Mm. It's the way you want to brand yourself. And you pin affect wa sani kwa sababu leo utakuja utudanganye kwamba umepewa gari ama umenunua gari fulani. Yeah. Alafu ambaye alikuwa amekupatia mkosani achukulile gari, you end up being depressed out here in the streets kwa sababu yeah 
watu wanakuona unaanza kutembea unaanza kupanda matatu hata uwezi ukafford border kwa hiyo it's very important pia for artists waangalie wanaishi maisha yao aje yeah. ustake don't, don't 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 just leave it for the hype eti watu wataona ali anaendesha gari fulani so watani watani mm. watani shobokea ama watu wataanza kukupenda no no hakuna mtu atakupenda kwa ajili ya gari lako people will only admire you okay understand yeah, yeah. kwa hiyo it's up to the creators wajue kwamba mimi nafaa niishi mm. lakini niishi real life kabisa mimi naishi real life mm. sitaki kuishi eti na, naonyesha nina magari na sina nimepewa mm. nini yeah kwa hivyo wasanii ku iku fake pia mm. ina wa affect sana eh hii mwaka umepata deal mbili bana bro alafu ni chiki interview yako pale Odari Homes bana uliongea kama eh nikasema kwani ulifanya MBA nini <laughs> kiingereza imeenda shule Kiswahili ati you know na kwa address ile kuna address ilikuwa na address society yeah. ngaja hapo umeomoka bro <laughs> leo umepata deal hii mwaka umepata deals mbili mm-hmm. and uh, i'm proud of you bro cuz unajua pale umetoka as, as a presenter as an artist yeah. so hizo deal mbili yani what took you maze to get yani those deals maze cuz it's not easy to get two deals in a ya hata mwaka ijaisha hata kwanza actually ilizipata in the same week in the same week actually yeah. the same week actually yeah. abuni abu, give me give me a glimpse of it bana okay for the longest time you know inakuwa ni dream ya every creator ama every company kupata sponsorship kupata mm-hmm. an extra source of income yeah. so mimi nimekuwa niki work so hard since nikiwa at less than 50k sub na tafuta mm-hmm. na tafuta mm-hmm. but time nilifika 100 give up mm. nikasema niaje you need 100k uh, okay. eh yeah. nikasema acha niache kuzitafuta yeah. let me just put in the work yeah. the right guys will come you know in due time mm. so there's this day i remember two days after eid nilikuwa nimetoka kumuona mamangu nyumbani she was feeling very sick so i alikuwa amelazwa siku mbili so ile siku nimemtoa hospitali nikachukua gari yeah. na kuja huko Nairobi i got a call nikamwambia vipi ali my name is Musa i want to meet you nikamwambia poa ningkonjani na jana Nairobi so so akafika then he, they just told me we've been looking for you for the past 3 months sasa ndo tumekupata and we want to work with you eh uh, terms no easy unaona aje ah nikaona pesa ndio hii eh pesa ndio hii contract ndio hii contract ndio hii unaona aje mimi nikaona iko sawa na nika nikachukua a week earlier ama 9 7 days 8 days even kwa nimefanya interview with uh, one of uh, the guys who owns a very big uh, IoT company in Kenya yeah, yeah. and the interview performed very well mm. hey, interview ile weza sana yeah, hey, alipata it. feedback ambazo hajai kupata yeah. alipata calls ambazo hajai kupata and this guy just called me from nowhere ni rafiki yangu sana akaniambia ali i've just decided i'm going to work with you eh mm. uh, numeral IoT they have over Atume post video ni leo ama jana ni jana yeah, jana? yeah. Okay. they have many products wako mm. na hewa mm. this has in he, in hewa uh uh-huh. yeah. uh, yeah. uh, pocket bluetooth speaker uh-huh. they have smart meter uh, ambayo you don't need kwenda oh, hewa ni yao hewa ni yao sijawahi jua yeah hewa ni yao yeah. they have smart meter yenye si lazima uende kuweka kwa, kwa, kwa nini unaweka kutoka kwa simu kwa unazima stima kutoka kwa simu uh, they have car trackers they have speed governors they have many products they have more than five products but zile wame launch ni kama five na right now ali na kuwa ambassador wa hizo products zote and it's so humbling it's yani nasema tu ni mwezi mungu yeah yeah so swali nyingine najua nimekuwa nikikutafuta nikikuwa mitandao na wana ukona ukona mchumba abusa niambie is it ni kiki ama ni ukweli najua mimi zikuza kama rafiki yeah. na una tu kwa youtube instagram lakini sijaje uliza personally yeah. natakuniahikishia zaidi sahi tu okay uh, <laughs> so kiki wacha tuseme tu sio kiki yeah. ni kweli kwamba right now i have someone yeah. unajua wakati hata nikiwaga pale switch nilikuwa bonge la single <laughs> It was single sana but uh, I finally you know met someone I finally met the love of my life mm-hmm. and it's Medina Medina she's also shout green. out to Medina shout out to Medina and she's also green uh, when you content creation no one amefika hey, mwana msaidia bwana almost uh, 22k yeah amefika 22k yeah. so road to 30k yeah i'm supporting it nah, yeah right. so join me mwana ni mwana jani yako bro since i met you mm-hmm. um likwacha sisi tulipata na wewe ulikuwa na 30k subs yeah. Yeah. i love kidogo kidogo ka struggle hapo na pranks hapo nini nini size ko 220 something yeah. uh, nini k 260 actually 260 actually 263 actually yeah. head into yeah. half a million eh? yeah, yeah, god willing yeah. yeah so hiyo jani ya buna anatakuambia wasi wana try juni mona wasi wengi wana try kuingia kwa youtube wana uh-huh. try kufanya kinyu nafanya 
na pia kuna wasiona try kufanya Kenya Eve anafanya yeah. of which is imekuwa redundant mm-hmm. unaona jua si kama watano wanafanya like imekuwa redundant yeah. so ni what thing will you advise someone who is upcoming ule mtu mwenye kona 5k subs ama ule mtu mwenye kona 2.2k ama mimi mwenye nikona 60k 60 yeah. subscribers <laughs> <laughs> okay what I'll, what I'll say is if you're doing it because Eve is doing it because Ali is doing it mm. please stop do something by your you resonate very well with do something by you are passionate about because at the end of the day hata ikija ku workout utakuwa unaona kwamba ah hiki ni kitu ambacho mimi napenda singependa a way where by people are stars lakini they don't even love what they are doing na just say unaweza kuwa motivated by the money lakini wakati ambapo pesa itakuja narrative ita change kwa hivyo kama unaifanya juu tunaifanya usifanye lakini kama unaifanya because it's something that you love please keep on doing it Hello. Yeah, na just know that it's not it's not it's not gonna be <laughs> just know <not, laughs> just know that it's not gonna be easy uh, because if it was easy everyone else would be doing it yeah kabisa manzi hapo nimekuwa nikichill na one of the only presenters in Kiswahili East Africa mzima bwana presenter Ali manzi mashukuru man kwa nyie interview always a pleasure man yeah keep it switch tv manzi all day wagwan